Hey there, pal. Molly. Today I'm going to show you how to switch out your display slash throttle. But I'm also here to tell you you're not that guy. You're not that guy, pal. Now, um, hands are pretty dirty. I'll open up this package first, but um, today's repair day for my scooter. I just did my front tire, and I'm going to leave the throttle. So, I'm hoping this new throttle is the same looking throttle as the one, the original name about one. I like the colors this one has. Um, from the image on the website, the Roadrunners website, since Nanorobot decided to partner with them to have, uh, I guess, USA dis distributors. Um, the picture it showed was the thumb, the, 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 what am I saying? Dang. The picture showed the throttle had the same functionalities and all, but it had, at least I think it had the same fun functionalities, but it had like a white background, it was kind of basic looking, it was old, digital looking. I mean, it's all digital, no, that's what I'm trying to say here. It just didn't look the same. It didn't look as good. Oh, this is some weird, soft packaging. It comes in like foam. This is, I don't know what this is. All right, it looks exactly the same. All right, so I already got my little tools here from taking my tire off. So you're gonna wanna find, uh, I don't know what this screw comes with a little tool thing, all the one tool thing, you could use that. I just like using my screwdriver or my clip hand screwdriver, screw thing, whatever you call this, because it's easier, faster. What I'm gonna do is too, because I'm figuring, I'm trying to figure out why the heck am I doing it this way? I do not feel like completely taking all of this off, the, all this, I mean, I have mountain bike grips, so I don't have to do all that bull crap with the original grips, I hated the original grips, so I got them switched as you can tell. These ones I just have to take the screw off to untighten them, it's so much easier, and these feel so much better, and they're so much thinner. Sorry for background noise, but um, I'm not gonna completely take this off the handlebars anyways, because it's still unnecessary. You just need to take off these little screws right here. These two little simple screws. Ah oh, shoot, these two little simple screws have two little nuts in the back. Pause. You need to take those nuts off. What I was supposed to do, I told myself I'm gonna do this before I even start the video and I sit in, which was unplug it first. Because these some of these plugs can be really tight, which is nice for waterproof. Okay, that wasn't actually that actually wasn't that bad. And here we go. I don't quite want hard start. It's been a while since I've been on the scooter, so I'm gonna have to get used to it again. But after this video, depending on how I do things, as I can tell, I've been doing a lot of, maybe this will come out the same day. I could do that. Cause this is just a small, small little simple video. So maybe they can come out the same day, but I wanna do, as I can tell, I've been doing a lot of e-bike videos. Um, now that I got my new GoPro, I wanna do, be doing some more anyway, so the e-bikes are just fun. Wait, crap, I forgot to turn this around. But y'all can see what I'm doing. This is, it's a simple process. I just decided to record it. Just, you know, not. It's a simple little process. You know, what I'm doing right now is I'm holding the nut in place. Because, okay, you see how... Hold on, give me a minute. You see how there's a round spot for these screws? In the back, there's a... Um, what's this shape? It sounds stupid, but... Hex, whatever that shape is. It's the same shape for that for these little nuts in the back. And that's how these, that's how you tighten them and untighten them. So they don't move. So I'm holding it in. So I can just simply screw this, screw this in and it makes it easier instead of me having to twist the, the nut in there. Oh my God, I just dropped it in the floor. So you haven't been on the screw in so long. If I'm correct, I could have swore I charged it the last time my sister was on. And this being a 52 volt scooter, it's supposed to be at 58 volts once it's fully charged. This thing's at 50. So I definitely want to charge this thing up. I actually can't remember if I charged it though after my sister popped my tire. You know, so annoying about that too. Now she offered, you know, some money, of course. <laughs> Didn't offer, you know, replacement or repair. But that's fine. I'll just probably never let her on again, but uh, that's why I don't like people touching my stuff, but uh, now you want to put this in, of course, follow the two little arrows, 
and we should be good to go. I'm just gonna have to probably redo my settings. Oh, I need my key to actually turn this on. So let's make sure this display works and this, oh. I really just lost my fucking keys. And it's really starting to piss me off because I don't know where else I could have possibly put them. I can't even test the display. I don't know where the fuck I put my keys. Found the keys. Somehow I literally forgot that fast. That I put them over there with my JBO Flip 4 speaker. Because the speaker was sitting on the water bottle holder. I don't get how I'm already having short term memory. I swear sometimes I feel like I'm only 19 but my mind is older. Anyways. Let's turn this on and make sure it works. All right, look at that. We got the same display. Dang, I gotta switch everything back. It's back in kilometers. The, and all the stuff. I, <laughs> I forgot what else, but yeah, I just need to change it back. Problem is I kind of forgot how to use this display, but it works. So, uh, that is about it. Um, I'm probably just going to be repeating myself because I'm probably going to put a text in the video since I've already mentioned it. But um, if you want to figure out how to do your front tire or any of your tires, because doing both tires are exactly the same, I already have a video on that. Um, I'll put that link in the description or I'll just pop it up up top. I'm probably even pop it up at the end of the video. But, um, yeah. and it works front tire um I said this in past videos my sister was riding a scooter we were on this like trail path and the trail path had like this folding barrier it wasn't like the one that goes in the ground and up but it would like fold down and stuff and, but when it's folded down it's still you know a chunky block of metal and I was riding on my bike my brother was riding on my mom's scooter because his one ran out of battery and my sister was riding my nano bike my older sister and um like I've explained before on my channel we were leaving the trail and somehow she didn't see this gigantic bright yellow folded down barrier that's still large and bright yellow this is the thing that my sister hit she hit this right here let me point the camera at it it was folded just like this she hit that she didn't see it and she ran it over. All I hear is my scooter bouncing around. I hear the complete air leaving my tire. And I turn around and I'm like, what the fuck just happened? And somehow she did not see that folded, still very large, bright yellow barrier. That's why she messed up her front scooter's hub motor. But luckily, this is a much higher quality, tougher scooter. So my hub motor's fine. So you never able to drive back. But I haven't touched the scooter since. So it's pretty dusty up here. So I guess I'll explain. Um what happened here because I'm sure you notice at the start of the video that something is missing that's the throttle so like a month or less or more ago I can't remember with my short-term memory I'm over there right at the front of my room wannabe door doorway staring at that bike like I was saying I'm gonna repeat myself one more time somebody interrupted me rudely um so I was staring in right there in my doorway because it's not a door but in my doorway just looking at this beautiful beautiful bike right there if you want to check that out I might as well just throw that up as well but I'm staring at that bike um, it's a project I built off a Honda PA50 um, frame I call it Project Flash I'm just staring at it I'm admiring it because it's, it's so well built um, it feels very sturdy, very strong. Does it feel like it's gonna blow up on me while I'm doing high speeds and get up to 50? So I'm just admiring the bike. Um, once again, sorry for background noise, but I'm admiring the bike. And it's nighttime too, so it's dark. I usually have my room light off because I just be chilling, sitting on my laptop. So I can't quite see, but there's a front light right up there, and that's the only light I get. So as I'm staring at it, I kind of look up at my scooter, and something was weird when I'm looking at it. I'm like. I just seem like something's missing. So I'm just staring at it more. I just still can't quite notice. I'm just kind of sitting there. And then the more I look at it, as I'm looking at my throttle, I'm like, why does this area, my uh, trigger area, the 
throttle area look like a darker color because I can't see this shining silver because it's shining from the uh, light outside I got my window open but all I see is about that of course no shine it's just a black hole and I'm looking at it more I'm like that's my throttle look weird like, something's wrong with it and I start to realize is that a hole and when I finally take a get closer and take a close look I realize my throttle is gone my entire throttle is gone I'm like what the fuck so I look on the floor to see if I can see my throttle to make sure I'm actually seeing things correctly my throttle is on the floor now two days before my throttle ended up on the floor a day or two ago before um, my little sister went into my room no my, my older brother went into my room and then my little sister came into my room and then they went out and then two days later this throttle was missing so what's annoying is these repairs I'm doing are not even because I messed up the scooter. I didn't mess up my front tire. My sister did. My older sister. When she came to visit, I was let her ride my scooter, wearing down my brakes. So I have to use electronic braking because I need brake pads. She flattened my front tire. Possibly could have messed up my front motor. How hard she hit that dang barrier thing. And then one of these two, my little sister or my older brother broke my throttle because after my sister messed up the tire I haven't touched the scooter since because I was too lazy to fix or re replace my tire and then you know they come out my room and my throttle's just gone so that's nice but that's that I made such a simple video so long simply because I talk too much but it has been it's been me. Uh, if y'all enjoyed this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I got plenty of scooter videos. I got a video that might come out the same day as this one. Maybe a couple of hours later, depending on when I do it. Um, but I will have a video on this nanorobot soon. I'm trying to plan it out because it is so hot again. Um, at least as of August 4th, we are back, back up to 111 degrees. The rain stopped. And you see like all the water just disappeared after all the rain and we're back up we're going to be i think we're going to shoot back up to 115 soon so i should find some time to do the scooter or drive the scooter but uh once again until then it's been me if y'all enjoyed this make sure you like comment subscribe check out my two other channels my music channel or my gaming channel stay tuned for more if you want and i'm out